So the question is, do I recommend and do I own rental property? And I do own rental property. Um, I wouldn't recommend anybody do anything that I didn't do. You shouldn't work with a realtor who doesn't own their house and also own rental property as well, especially if you're going to buy a rental. I'm a huge believer that just about any family can buy easily and easily manage one or two rentals. And over five or ten years, it'll be the single largest thing they can do for their financial future, their family, for their retirement, to get them cash flow and to make their equity grow. What do you look for? You look for a property close to where you live. You look for a property that's not at the very, very bottom of the market. Um, you get something that's a little nicer than you normally would think. But most importantly, you buy anything. So I have a thing when I'm working with people and they say, well, should I buy a rental? And I just kind of point to one of those houses. I say that, just buy a house, buy that out, buy that out, buy, just buy a house, buy any house. Two years ago, the average price of a home in Orlando was $195,000. And people said, oh my God, that's so expensive. Well now, a year later, the average price is $218,000. And as of this video, the average price right now is $237,000. Now properties can't keep appreciating that fast, but they will always appreciate. With the last two years, you could have bought a rental property and almost let it sit empty and pay the mortgage payment on it, sell it today, and still break even. So if you could break even, on a rental property, leaving it empty, imagine what you can do getting the rent in it. Now, traditionally, we're going to expect 3 to 5% appreciation for a rental property plus the return on the rents. Um, over the first couple of years, you may not do so good. You may break even. You may just make a couple hundred dollars a year. But the longer you own that property, the more that the mortgage payment is going to seem like a cheaper and cheaper deal and the higher the rents are going to go. Rents in Orlando, these rents nationally have gone up through the roof. Orlando is the number three market in America for people to buy and own rental property, which means you almost can't go wrong. So if you buy one, anyone, neighbors, yours, moms, friends, any property you point at, and here's the secret, don't die. Just buy it and five or ten years later, you'll be a genius because you pulled the trigger, bought a property, and you'll look back and say, you know that property I didn't think I could afford, I wasn't sure it was a good deal five or ten years ago now, why would I sell it? I can't afford to sell it. That's making too much money on it. I'll own it for the rest of my life. Exactly. That's why you should get a rental property here in Central Florida. Call me if you want a list of some possible rental properties for you that would be good based on where you live and what you're looking for. The information is attached to this video. Thanks.